Philip, how long are the medical supplies expected to last before the situation becomes critical? Well, the situation is already critical in the United States, and that if you need any proof of that, you just need to look at an opinion poll done just in the last few days by the uh, U.S. Conference of Mayors, which uh, has blown the alarm on this, saying 91.5 percent of cities around the United States don't have enough medical supplies, and 85 percent are um, even suffering from a lack of ventilators. So if you look at the situation in New York, which is definitely the worst at the moment in the United States, they're saying there that they have enough masks probably to last until Sunday. But even a report coming out today has uh, come up with the shocking news that uh, over 2,000 ventilators, which could be used in hospitals in the United States, are sitting idly by because they are not in working order and no one has put them back together so that they can be used in hospitals. Uh, on top of that, there's more bad news in the fact that these masks that people desperately need are not available. Uh, in some medical cases, uh, doctors are using bandanas uh, to keep their uh, breath away from uh, patients. Others are washing their masks and reusing them when that is, of course, not what is supposed to happen. Masks are supposed to be thrown away after just four hours. And and the New York uh, head of uh, uh, medical supplies has said that uh, even uh, the distribution has got so bad in the United States that it's like going on eBay to bid for masks on the black market that can be sold for like 10 times more than their value, uh, not $2, but even $20 a mask. So all eyes are now turning towards the federal government saying, well, what's going on? When are we going to get these supplies that we really badly need to deal with this increasing death toll of over 5,000 people who've now died in the United States? So, Philip, what's been the response from the US authorities and particularly from President Trump. Well, President Trump, as you know, has uh, invoked the Defence Production Act, which uh, he says is going to push General Motors to uh, make ventilators. 100,000 ventilators are currently being produced in the United States. Uh, that is uh, within the next 100 days, over three times the uh, normal amount of ventilators produced. And Boeing, the aircraft manufacturer, is going to make uh, face shields. Uh, but many of the people working in hospitals are saying, well, this is a little bit too late. We should have had all this equipment ready for us before this pandemic broke out uh, so that uh, we were able to deal with the numbers of cases being brought in instead of the uh, uh, spats going on between President Trump and uh, the governors around the United States of the, of the different states. Uh, this should have been dealt with a lot earlier on. Of course, uh, there is praise for the federal government because there is a 3.3 million, um, uh, sorry, there has been a Two point, uh, a two trillion dollar, excuse me, uh, coronavirus relief bill, which has been introduced to try to uh, give money directly to uh, citizens of the United States so that they can help deal with the uh, coronavirus outbreak. Uh, but as far as dealing with the outbreak in hospitals, uh, there is a lot of worry that supplies are going to run out by this weekend. Um, very briefly, uh, Philip, we certainly, however, have seen a shift in Trump's position. I mean, you know, a couple of weeks back, he was saying he wanted to get the US back to work by Easter. That's certainly no longer the case. Has he woken up finally to the impact that the virus is having on the country? Well, many people like to think that Donald Trump now does realise that the situation is very bad. But there's a question that is being asked by um, a lot of political pundits in the United States is, has Donald Trump finally actually uh, realised how serious the situation is. He was saying yesterday that the United States has a horrific uh, two weeks ahead of it. Or uh, is he being pushed into saying those things by his advisers, who say that uh, up until now, some of the comments he's made have, have done nothing to try to uh, improve the situation and ridiculed uh, the uh, way that the federal government has handled all of this. But you have to remember the bottom line is here that Donald Trump is still quite riding quite high in the opinion polls in the United States, between 45 and 49 percent. So even if he is being criticised by many people, he's still overall quite popular amongst uh, the US electorate. Philip Toll, thank you.